Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. This is June. June is a Meraki blue tongue skink. I'm Marty, this is 221B Reptiles, and today I'm going to tell you everything I learned about Indonesian blue tongue skinks. Today I'm going to tell you how I take care of my Meraki blue tongue skinks and all my other Indonesian blue tongue skinks. Number 1. Teliqua gigas gigas, which is the classic Indonesian blue tongue skink. You also have Teliqua gigas kiensis, which is the key island blue tongue skink. You also have the Teliqua gigas evanescence, which is the Meraki blue tongue skink, and you will also find a fourth species, which is called Teliqua sp, or the Erangia. Opposed to the Australian blue tongue skink, or the northern blue tongue skink, the Indonesian species live a lot closer to the equator. The classic Indonesian can be found in the northern part of Indonesia and in the western part of Indonesia. The Key Island Blue Tongue Skink will only be found near the Key Islands, which are in the south of Indonesia. The Meraki Blue Tongue Skink is found in New Guinea, Papua New Guinea, and all the way down to the city of Meraki. The Irian Jaya, however, is mostly found in the south of Indonesia and Papua New Guinea. Some say that the Aryan Jaya is a naturally occurring hybrid. I personally have no clue. This is what I do, but there are many ways to do it. I keep my animals in 40 gallon tanks. You can also keep them in an enclosure or a rack or an outdoor enclosure if you live in Florida. Compared to their Australian cousins, the Indonesian blue tongue skinks will require lots and lots of humidity. I keep my animals between 70 and 105 degrees under the basking spot. Once again, that's what I do. You can keep them a little cooler, a little warmer. That's up to you. As for the humidity, I keep my animals between 60 all the way to 100% humidity all year long. As for the feeding, it's very simple. I myself feed them either dog food for the adults or cat food for the babies. I will feed the adults every other day or every three days and I feed the babies daily or every other day. I like to offer them also every other feeding what I call a skink mosh. The mosh will include vegetables, fruits, meat, calcium and also supplementation. I like to change the water daily because if it's too warm, they will not drink, and if the water is soil, they will not drink. First thing to do is to house the animal. What I do is I keep my animals in a 40 gallon glass breeder tank. For the babies, I prefer to keep them in a 10 or 15 glass aquarium. And then I'm gonna tell you where you can find a blue tongue skink. When you have your tank, it is time to put some substrate on the bottom of the tank. Most people will use cypress mulch that really, really holds humidity. I like to use bioactive substrate because it looks a lot cooler. For my bio substrate, I like to use cypress mulch, potting soil, bird seeds, and peat moss, and a little bit of sand just for aeration. Mulch! So this is how I prepare my bioactive soil. I will use one part potting soil, for two parts of mulch. Then I'm gonna add bird seeds and then I'm gonna use a little bit of peat moss just to hold the moisture. This is what I have so far. I've got my potting soil, I have the mulch, I've got the seeds. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take a handful of peat moss and I'm just gonna sprinkle this all over the place. 
Then I'm just gonna do this, like this, make sure I've got potting soil everywhere, make sure there's enough mulch, make sure the bird seeds are everywhere, and there you go. It looks absolutely like nothing right now. So what you're gonna do, you're just gonna mist this and let it sit at least for a day before you put it in the tank. Once I have this, I'm gonna put it in the tank and I'm gonna add a few bugs for the aeration. When you have your enclosure ready and the bioactive substrate on the bottom, you're gonna have to mist the entire enclosure generously. Once again, I want to have at least 60% humidity in this enclosure. It's very important for them. They need that to breathe. It's gonna help them shed. And once again, they're from Indonesia. It's pretty warm and it's pretty humid almost all year long. The water has to be changed daily. It's very important. If the water is just a little bit dirty, they'll not drink it. And if it gets too warm, they're not gonna drink it either. You can also give them hides. This is what I like to use. There you go. It's a pretty simple setup, but you don't need to put a lot of decorations for skinks because they dig a lot. Because they dig a lot, they're going to move everything around and they're going to redecorate everything for you. There we go. Maybe we can put this here. There we go. Whatever. He's probably going to knock this out in a minute. But the decor is mostly for you, the animals don't really care about the plants and pretty things that you put around. Uh, that's what I've noticed. Uh, if I put them in an enclosure which only has a hide, a food bowl, and a water bowl, if the humidity is right, if the temperature is right, um, basically that's all they need. Uh, I like to have fun. When the temperature is just right, and the humidity level is stable, now it's time to look for a skink. You can contact a breeder, or you can go to a reptile show, or you can go to a pet store, and you can even check online. Now that you have your animal, it's time to leave it alone, at least for a couple of days. Then, you're gonna handle it 10 minutes every day for two months, and you'll have the tamest lizard for another 20 years. Yeah, because they live up to 20 years and more. Baby blue tongue lizards can be a little bit defensive. They can be shy and it's normal. You are a giant. You are a monster. So when you get your animal, you will have to feed it and talk to it and show him that you're not here to eat it, but you are here to feed it. Well, thank you for watching our first video about Indonesian blue tongue skinks. Hopefully, I will see you very soon for another episode of 221B Reptiles. Like this video, comment this video, subscribe. I'm Marty, and I will see you next time. I don't know.